talk about color, what can you say about having that mutual ground that colors can gel together? Well, the mutual ground in my apartment happens to be the fact that there's a white marble floor with white walls and a white ceiling, so everything is white. So all the colors can actually breathe. If you have a house that has got lots of browns, like a brown wood floor and you've got brown on the doors, then you have to be really, really careful that you don't have too many colors that will fight that. Okay, yeah. and um, for yourself, you've traveled a lot and you've collected a lot of nice things Thank along you. the way. So how would you decide which one is to be displayed and which one to be stored? Well, it's very difficult, I have to tell you. <laughs> so I keep everything in clear boxes. I keep everything in clear boxes and then I actually change things around every once in a while. So I do, it, depending on the flowers I get. I always have fresh flowers and orchids in the house. And uh, sometimes, right now there's an African theme going on because my things just came from America and I have all this African sculpture. So I've got that going going on and those just came out like a few days ago so they'll stay out. I, I feel like I do little collections. <laughs> so if you have the time and inclination to do that, you don't need to put things away. In it. It's horrible to have nice things and keep them in a box or in a closet mm -hmm. but if you can reshuffle things around and that way the house always has a little bit of a different personality. Mm -hmm. You don't get bored. Okay.